Hello everyone, BusyGamerDad back, and I have a question for you. How did Vikings communicate with one another? By Norse code. Yes, I know, I think I've used that one before, but it really did fit, uh, because we're going to be using the Gladiator in our next run for Apocalypse Party. This game is a polygon, roguelike, uh, vampire survivor, bullet heaven, bullet hell kind of game. It's a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It's very akin, or like uh, God of Weapons, if you haven't seen those uh, videos, please go ahead and take a look at those because it's very similar in style and motif. Um, but we did our first run with the story and everything like that. It looks like we have a capybara that's an angel that's going to revive our characters and we have to basically uh, end the zombie plague. Um, the opener was a bit mature, so I'm sorry, I didn't expect that. I did not know what to expect when I first booted this game up, so hopefully you forgive me for that. But without any further ado, we're going to load in. It looks like this is our melee character, which is a lot of fun. Uh, let's give it a go. So this is like God of Weapons meets um, meets uh, uh, Risk of Rain, is what I was uh, talking about before. Where we've got... Uh, do I want that? I want that. All right, so I want to auto attack. Yeah. All right, cool. There we are. Cool. Yeah, so, okay. So our guy is the melee guy. Our guy is the melee guy. And I've already taken some hits. Uh, all ranged effects are larger radius. Melee damage is uh Melee knockback. Uh, melee attack speed. I'm going to do the attack speed because I have a feeling melee is going to suffer from slower attack speed, more damage. Um, what's in here? Let's do auto attack. There we are. Cool. Yeah, the auto attack feature is really fun. It gives you a little bit less um, agency, but at the same time, it makes it a little bit more fun to watch the, uh, or, you know, m not micromanage the attacks. But I, I think I'm going to leave it off for now. Uh, Imperial Axe. Is that what I have? Let's see what this guy does. Oh, yeah, we've got a huge cleave now. Oh, yeah, we're just destroying fools. All right, let's get ourselves... Uh, where are the altars? Up here? In the castle. Okay, so I have to be level 6 for the first altar. So, um, let's get ourselves in that level up mode right now. So level 6, level 12, and level 18 was what we had to be before. I do like the whirlwind. That's a, that's a really helpful cleave type of thing to clear out uh, baddies. Keep on going and keep on hitting, hitting fools. There we are, cool. So here, goddess's moon sword. Okay, so we got to level up. Um, after killing five enemies, we we'll increase range of the next melee attack by seven, and it's damaged by. Oh, that's huge. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be very helpful. Let's try the moon sword. Okay, so that's a little bit faster swing, not as much damage i'm thinking i mean maybe maybe it looks like there's a a little bit more damage okay yeah it looks like there's a damage all right cool there let's finish those guys the combos are really helpful i think that helped grow your character more uh twin daggers of the desert oh wow so these are probably a little bit wispier but yeah so they're not as not as big on the damage but there's still the cleave which is kind of helpful waiting into the of the enemy. All right, get through this. What be you? Dragon Slayer Sword. So this is fun. I like this. This is this is very different in a good way from Worship at Lady Luck. Th this is very different in a good way. It looks like we have a slower swing, but more damage. I like the daggers more. I like the daggers more. Uh, obtain Shattering Slash. So this is a super question mark melee chance to trigger explosions. Oh, ranged fire damage. Oh, uh, let's do that because I think that's going to be huge. Yeah, so this is where I was talking about with like our melee slashes. And this is good synergy because we have a lot more um, chances on uh, proccing that with our daggers. You know, a faster attacking weapon than something that's slower like our, um, like that sword, like the, the dragon slayer sword. So good to know. Uh, ooh, this one has a, no, that one has a pretty good attack and it's, blue so there is level um uh item level essentially not diablo style but i'm talking about something very similar to like what you might see in destiny where you know you have green blue purple um uh, what you okay basically they just come at me now 
Does this proc anything? It doesn't look like it procs anything. Oh, no, it does. It does. Oh, this is huge, then. That's huge. Um, attack speed, killing an enemy, give it a chance to increase the range. Yeah, this is... This here is probably what I want. Yeah, so... Oh, that is terrifyingly awesome. That is terrifyingly awesome. We're at level 5, so I'm going to start making my way uh, around... Nope, don't want that. Towards, um... Dark Wheel? Okay, well, I mean, we've got something really cool here. What about you? <gasps> it's a chakra. It's a chakra. We have a chakra? I'm going to do that. I mean, I like the idea of the other... You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to go back to the skull because I know it's coming. I like the dodge and I like the idea of the, the other one, but this, knowing what's coming... Um, ooh, melee attacks have a chance to... Uh, melee attacks against enemies guaranteed to score a critical hit. Guaranteed? Yeah, why not do that? And then we, every time we level up, we do an ability like that? That is huge. That is awesome. I like it. Uh, we don't need any heals right now. What's over here? Let's check and see. Uh, what are you? Are you a samurai sword? Oh, no. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. That's not for me. That's not for me. I like the idea of that. I am terrible with those kind of delay and uh, precision strike weapons. Um, so we're going to leave that for a better gamer than I. Uh, let's finish you off right there. Come on. Die. There we are. Cool. Um, let's see here. What is that little star symbol? Is that because we've charged up our sword or our weapon right now? Uh, the demon skull. Nope. Don't want that. Oh, so when I let it go... Okay, so I'm holding it right now. And then... When it glows, I'm assuming, I have... The ability to do the thing. Oop! That's... These are different than last time. There are three on one. That's not fair. And then I can cast this. That looks like it hit a fair amount. And then we have huge AoE damage. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. Equipment, copies, melee attacks. Yes, I'm thinking this is what I want. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Yep, this is uh, this is a pretty good build we got going right now. I'm excited to see how this goes. And we can cast it as many times as we're able. Double cast, yes! I wish I knew if there is a dodge mechanic. It doesn't seem like there is. At least not that I've seen anyways. Keep on dodging, keep on dip diving, dodging. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cast this in this direction. And then we're gonna take a hit there. That's just how that goes. I got one of them. We're invincible? Question mark? I don't know why we got invincible. All ranged attacks have a 30% larger. Uh, all ranged. I think this one's better because it gives damage and that. Yes. And then we'll just hit that guy that way. Walk right into these guys. And then we'll cast again. Oh, wait, he can cast it uh, 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 alone. I gotcha. Okay, cool. And then I can cast it. Nice. Got the other one. Oh, took a hit on the chin there. I know I'm a gladiator and I should be using melee weapons, but who says gladiators can't be smart? Who says that? Can I finish him? There we go. Got him. Marco go down. Interesting. All right, so we got that. Uh, sacred ability. We can restore our armor. Black hole. That sounds way more awesome. Definitely way more metal than what I had currently. All right, let's get ourselves to the next shrine, which I believe is going to be out this way. Yes. Okay. That is awesome. Yep, just black hole, drop it on the ground. Equipment obtained, hide and seek, for each man. Oh, this is cool 
I didn't know there was gonna be healing, which is kind of awesome. Fire melee equipment. This goes for a lot more though. Melee upgrades to fire damage are treated as equipment damage. Okay. I don't know what this means, but I do want the heal. I, But I think this is probably the better one to pick. Um, let's do this one. I, yeah, melee damage upgrades are treated as fire damage. Am I using a melee weapon? I have questions. I don't think I am. Like, this would, to me, would not be uh, uh, a melee weapon, but maybe the game is telling me that it is? I don't know. I'm not entirely certain, and I don't know how to, to verify that. I think our... That's just awesome. That's just so cool. All right, let's finish wading into these guys here, getting up to level 12. We gotta walk through all this and get ourselves back up to level, or not back up to, but, well, I guess back up to. If you saw the first video, we, uh, we, we died horribly. Twin, holy twins. I don't know what that means. There, we gotta level up. Praying Mantis Punch win. Uh, this one here. Yes because this will cause that to go even f more and pop. Yep, that's what I thought. What is the little star? I wish I knew. I wish I knew what that was. Is that like something for like an achievement or something? I'm gonna fire this off. And then we'll go this way. And then what are you? You're not anything important to me. There's that. We're gonna finish these guys off. Can I cast this? I can't cast that yet. I'm gonna go this way though, and then uh, I guess this way. Oh, I took a hit. From what? I don't know. Is this a shortcut? That is a shortcut, and I just didn't mean to take that. Okay. Well, uh, we are not near where we need to be now, so that's fine. We needed to go this way anyways, um, because uh, you know I needed to go inside the castle and check the walls and stuff. Exactly what I needed to do. That's exactly what I needed to do. Ignition cap. Um, darkness? I don't know. Auto attack enemies in front for a certain thing, dealing darkness damage. Uh, sure. So we did that that direction. Let's see. I, I, I really think that I'm on cheat mode right now. I really think that this weapon is pretty overpowered for this guy. Johnny's here? Let's, let's try something different. Let's try something different. Looks like we have a weapon that's being thrown, like a scythe. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like we've got a, a weapon that we're throwing around. Okay, so we're get, making our way back to where we need to be. And that's fine, because we needed to get to level 12 anyways. What is this duffel bag? More experience? More experience. Gotcha. So there's the black hole ability. That's just eating fools alive, quite literally. Okay, cool. And then we're now at level 12. Nice. A uh, demon mask. A demon that... Yeah, we already got this. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly take another one. So we have basically another guy doing the same exact thing. Sweet. Awesome. Let's uh, kick this one off. Let's see. Is this going to be the same person? Nope, it's the titan that we... Well, it is one of the same ones we fought in our first video. I don't have mana enough for it. Oh, jeez. Wow, we are just... just Destroying things when we cleave and we get uh, the the, cro uh, the the crits and the crocs and everything like that. What hit? What just hit me? Interesting. Oh wow, we're chunking this guy by comparison to our last guy. Wow, we were so chunky. Uh, this is a summon. It's a summon. Increases all damage. Uh, let's do the summon. Sure. You know, Apocalypse Party. Have all the friends come. There's our... Oh, dude, he already died. He already died. When all three of us hit this guy, we destroy his health bar. And my shades don't take damage. It's hugely helpful. Nice, we already got him. How dare you in the name of Sparta. Nice. Alright, so there's that. 
Flame Lord, what be you? I like it. I like it a lot. What are you? I can't pick you up. Thunderkin, ricochets. I don't really care about that. I think I want uh, what I got. All right, so where's the last altar? Down in the beginning area. Gotcha. All right, cool. Wow, this is fun. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I'm not saying that God of Weapons or um, Vampire Survivor is bad in any way, shape, or form. They're great games for great reasons. But this just, it's leaning into more power fantasy than I thought it would. And I like the polygons. For me, that's fun. That's a that's a win for me. But it may not be for everybody. Um, let's see here. Let's re-roll. Uh, we got plenty of re-rolls. Uh, what, what are you? Okay, so hang on, I'm checking these real quick. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so we got a lot of different ones. Lone, summon a lone spirit. Uh, the lone spirit keeps losing HP when pursuing the highest HP enemy upon death. Oh, up to see. Okay, wow, that's a lot of text that's kind of crammed in there. Um, I guess let's do that one. Let's see what that's all about. <clears throat> I'm not certain how that will play out with our build. Looks like there's just like spirit randomly floating around. Oh, we're going down a dead end. He says as he takes damage for no reason. Demon blood. What is this? Oh, this will be great with our um, explosive build. Let's see, what are you? Combat ability improved. Okay, so we have more attack speed now. Gotcha. Um, let's get out of the way of that attack, and then we have to be 18. I should have probably saved that shrine for... Yep, I probably should have saved the shrine for um, the uh, uh, the boss fight here. All good, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're just hacking up fools with the explosions. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Yeah, like I said, it seems to be leaning into the power fantasy. Um, I'm going to do the projectile. Every fire damage... Every 20, 20 enemies you have killed with fire damage, Meteor, and we have two fire, this will be three. Sure. I'm gonna do that. That seems like a really nice idea to, to lean into more of the power fantasy that we've got going on right now. Yeah, see, I just see them coming down. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Again, I don't know what those little stars at the bottom are. If you happen to know, if you played this game before, please do let me know because I would like to understand what they do. Um... But if I don't, that's fine. Uh, that'll be one of the mysteries that we might find out. Uh, lightning wheels not going to help us with our current build. Lightning damage, nope. Uh, nope, that's not. I don't want to do that. Um, let's see, reroll. We got some rerolls to do. Uh, no, 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 none of these. Oh, here we go. In case, in cases of melee kills, there's a good chance of launching the enemy into the air, dealing melee damage during flight to other enemies on contact. Okay. Uh, deals melee, deals damage to enemies below its HP, the greater the damage dealt. Oh, okay, so that's more... Um, let's do the Dragon's Rage. That seems like a fun idea. <clears throat> and then we'll knock some people into the air, doing a little bit more AoE damage, potentially fire damage, question mark? I don't know. Uh, we gotta get to level 18, and this seems like as good a spot as any to hold out and do that. Looks like they're funneling to be pretty good. Nice, and we're getting some HP back, which is nice as well. We didn't have that with our last build. I don't know if that's going to be a universally applicable thing or not, but we will see. We shall see. We shall see indeed. One sec. Okay, sorry. I had to break for a second or two or four or ten or twenty. Uh, my friends came over and picked up some baby strollers and baby stuff that we... Uh, we're gifting to them. Uh, congratulations to to them as well. Good good luck to uh, Chris and Brittany. Um, thank you very much for taking the uh, strollers from us. I love regifting that stuff. It's bittersweet. Uh, but now we're not uh, talking about that. Let's get back into this. Let's see here. Mini Samurai. Uh, we get to summon somebody again. Uh, let's see here. Iido Slash. Uh, let's do... With every travel leaves Dark Zone. Oh! So this is like an AOE behind us? Hmm. I'm gonna do this one though. I wanna see the little mini guy. I wanna see this little mini guy. Let's see what this is about. Where's our little buddy? I don't 
see him, question mark. Is he around? Oh, there he is. I see him. He's right here. He's right there. I love it. Oh, he's adorable and deadly at the same time. <clears throat> nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, wow. We are just destroying fools. I think we've got a good build going. I think we've got a really good build going. Uh, looks like there's some armor on the ground. Uh, okay. Investigation team. Summon three entities gaining investigator. They taunt nearby. Oh, that's fun. Last time, death of a summoned entity heals other entities. Oh. There's a lot of typos. I would hope they patch that. But let's see here. Last time on. Let's do the mini investigator team. I think that's good. We have two darkness. Yeah, I think. I think that's what I want to do. I want to do the mini investigator team. Ow. Ow. All right, cool. Looks like we're level 18. Let's get this fight started. Headless man. He's invincible as he drops in. Cool. That's nice of you. Thank you. Let's drop our bomb. Do a lot of damage. And then we did a fair amount there. Oh, gotta move that out of the way. Oh, that was a bigger cleave than what I thought it would be. Not cool. Gotta dodge that. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Get into this. This guy is pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so he he closes gaps, and you don't see the uh, the range in which he closes them. It looks like he switches weapons. Oh, need to dodge that. And he drops an AOE on the ground. Or no, maybe that's. Oh, took that hit. Doesn't look like that's actually an AOE on the ground. It looks like there's something else that's being dropped. It might be those um, investigators that when they die. Yeah, okay, we're not seeing those uh, telegraphs anymore. Uh, invincible, and is he healing? Question mark? I don't know what he's doing. He is healing! That's mean! How do I finish you? Or, like, maybe the fight's just... Oh, I got stuck on the thingy. Alright, gotta level up. Let's see what this is about. Uh, uh, this might be helpful. Revival speed. Uh, let's reroll. Let's see what comes up. Projectile speed. Uh, we don't have any projectiles right now. Scorching hits. Um, greater than 85. Uh, projectile speed. I'm burning through a lot of these. Stop melee attack. Lightning damage. No. Sure. Freeze peach of equipment. Sure. Let's do that. Oh, that was ouchy. I'm trying to build up my, um, trying to build up my, uh, my, my crit damage meter here right now. My spell damage, so I can hit this guy. Hit this fool. Oop! There's that guy. There we go. And then let's drop this. Big chunk of damage right there. Doesn't look like the taunt works on the boss, which is fair. I mean, that's... That's fine. It's fine enough, I suppose. I gotta keep on hitting. Why does it keep on saying invincible? And then... Okay, maybe he's not healing. And maybe that's just something that I was missing. Maybe something else was healing him. Before? I don't know. Alright, cool. Demon be slain. Okay, demon be gone, be gone, demon be gone. Let's get some heals. Blizzard. Revival roll. A bomb? I don't think I need anything more. I think we're done. Yeah, I think this is it, isn't it? Enter hell. Oh, uh, do I want to do that? I feel like I want to heal first. Can I do that? Let me dash over this way and get, see if I can get healed. Yeah, it looks like we've ended the plague. All right, you will enter hell in just a few seconds. That's fine. I suppose that's fine. We'll, we'll get over there now. Let's do it now. Is this like the final boss? Hell Titan. Oh, we get to fight Satan. Great, awesome. I did not expect that to happen. It's a very similar model to the one we just fought. Gotta dodge these fire attacks. And him doing a somersault into me. Rude. I mean, is that worth it? Do we do we hack and slash Satan? Oh, 
okay, I, I don't know his attack pattern, and I do not know... So, okay, there's a Souls element to this game where you don't get all the telegraphs all the time, and that's fine. That's fun by all standards. Because if they telegraph too much, I feel like it puts it on easy mode. And I'm I'm for a little bit of a challenge with these games. You want to make it something where the player has some agency and not just dodging everything all the time. Slash this guy up. Wow, he's got a fair amount... Oh, gotta keep dodging. I can't keep hitting him. Oh, and he's gonna drop down, and then we'll slash at him. Oh, dodge that, dodge that. I'm glad I picked this weapon up, because it seems like this is the one that will... Um, allow me to have a little bit of a, uh, what's what I'm looking for, an invincibility frame uh, when I do the dodge swing like that. I think that's really helpful for, for what we got going on here. And then I'll get a piece of armor that I just got destroyed with. I'm glad I picked up the armor. All right, and then, oh, dodging that. Get over here, he's invincible again. <clears throat> Let's keep on going. Oh, I thought I was out of that. That's not fair. Oh well. When I say not fair, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Let's see, can I win through this? Oh, nope. And thankfully there's no damage on touch, which would be really super hella annoying if there were. All right, swinging, swinging. I wanna, I'm trying to wait for his next sequence. There, and then he's gonna start doing swings. Nice. I don't know what hit me, what, 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 what? That's not cool, dude. That's not cool at all. Why am I getting, oh, I'm getting drawn in. I didn't realize that was a thing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and this, bam. That do amount of damage. I don't know if I have the right build to handle this guy. Because I thought I had the right build, but now I'm not so sure. Because we're dead. Yup. He cleaved me. I do like and not like how they gave you the uh, telegraphs. I think that was really good. I think that was really confusing though. Um, but hey, not a big deal. We had some fun. We had some fun with it. Kim, I thought there were only three demons. What's that thing at the end? That's Satan, the lord of all demons. When he, the Avatar of Wrath, shows up, it means hell has launched a full-scale invasion. The plague will never end unless you kill him. Kill him? How am I supposed to do that when I can't even scratch him? Well, there we- Oh! That's okay. Have the Holy Communion and you will have the power to defeat Satan. But watch out for his hellfire. Once you'll be hit, once hit, you'll be incinerated and end up in hell. I won't be able to revive you if that happens. About my daughter, you better keep your word. Okay, so now we've unlocked a few more people. We've got uh, the blind monk talents. We've got the hunter, and we've got the king. And we've got a new map? Question mark. So that's a bit unfair. They, uh, they, there was something that I was totally and completely missing. Oh well. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm not gonna complain about it. It was still a fun uh, jaunt, and we were able to see a lot. Uh, all right. So, Busy Gamer Dad session gameplay series uh, episode two. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. I will have a link for the game should you want to pick it up for yourselves. Hope to see you in the third and final episode for Apocalypse Party. Maybe I can coerce one of my friends to buy this. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Either way, this is a fun game. Picked it up when it was on sale. Hopefully you will do the same to add it to your library because I'm enjoying my time here. And we'll catch you in our third episode. Later.